Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and it is the first video of 2024. Happy New Year to all of you guys. I hope you had a good evening, whatever it is you did. Whether you're somebody that likes to go out and party, whether you stayed home with family, maybe you stayed home, didn't do anything that special. I know a lot of people aren't really that fussed about New Year's, but whatever it is you did, uh, I hope you had a good time. So we are here, uh, the first login of 2024. You can see we have the pixel character growth rewards up on the screen because you uh, make sure you've got to be logging uh, leveling up that profile uh, every month and you can get the rewards at the end so you can see for getting to full level 12 we get 10 stones uh, we get a bunch of kais and some meat items keys uh, support uh, items uh, training items and even um, some orbs as well so pretty good so we claim all of those new year greetings for 2024 i swear this is supposed to have an actual thing in it but we're going to go and check out the news anyway yeah so there you go the 2024 thing is basically talking about some of the uh updates that have been coming to the game over or have been coming to the game you know over the last year um we're also of course global is uh going to be or has already gotten to its 3000 days so shout out if you are actually one of the few people out there to have gotten to 3000 days login on global um all of this has been made possible by everyone's passionate support throughout the year and uh, one of the things that seems quite interesting is we have the step up banner which we kind of knew about uh there's also a happy new year like special pack which at first I thought was just going to be um, stones, right? For sorry, I thought it would just be tickets for the actual step up banners. So you can see the step up banners here. There are now two step up banners that have been split into extreme and super. Uh, I did a video talking about how they were going to do this, considering so many things have been replaced by carnival LRs, and it seems like they have now expanded the options. So we have uh, a couple of like the older extreme category leaders in the first step. Then when we get to the second step, we have uh, some LRs. Uh, it's quite interesting. The older LRs will be in this step, I imagine, as well. But the fact that you're, uh, you're guaranteed one, some of these are slightly newer. It's interesting to see units like Rosé and then the tech uh, Rosé and Zamasu being in the same step, considering how much of a difference there was in time between their release. But... Then you have step three. The ninth character is guaranteed to be one of these, not super recent, but one of these side banner units, which is kind of cool. And then the tenth unit is guaranteed to be one of these guys. But if, as we scroll down, the uh, last option that it could be is actually the int cell. So the Dokonfest LR cell is one of the options for step three. Uh, then step four, we have some of the newer LRs. We talked about these in the most uh, recent video. So these guys are some of the most recent LRs to have released based on the time slots for last year. Um, so those guys made it into the banner. There are some older ones there as well. And then the final step, you also get an SSR as the ninth character. Um, so you've got like Turles' side banner units, the Kale side banner unit, um, Mew and Jero. Um, and then, yeah, we get the Turles, the final step, Turles. Piccolo Jr., the STR Androids, Cooler, who of course is a Dokonfest LR, um, and then Margin Vegeta. So it's kind of interesting. Um, and then the Super Class version obviously follows the same sort of pattern. Um, the Obviously the interesting ones that we're looking for is uh, we got Step 3. Um, now bearing in mind the other banner had Cell, so there's Gohan. And then of course the uh, Super Class banner. We've got the LRs, and considering Step 5 had uh, cooler, then yeah, this is the AGL Super Saiyans. We've got Bardock, Godku, uh, Kale. I mean, so the Step 5 is kind of a mixed bag for this one, right? Because ideally you want Godku or 23rd World Tournament Goku if you don't have them. Um, and then, of course, the uh, Step 4 has Bulma. So this is the one I think a lot of people are going to be aiming for. Uh, for the Super Class. So if we take a look at the actual campaign for New Year's... Um, I don't know why they've put campaign and then this is all the missions. Uh, there you go. There's the actual celebration. So we're here, beginning of 2024. Special missions, login bonus, the step up banners, uh, the 2024 packs. We'll take a look at those. A uh, bunch of sales to go alongside the step up banner. And then, of course, we have, as we all knew already, the tech super trunks is going to be the next Dokon Fest uh, banner to release on Global. That is coming out on Wednesday morning. So Wednesday morning for me, late Tuesday evening for you guys in the US. 
Um, not exactly the hypest release, but you know, I'll be live summoning and uh, we'll see how we go. There will be ticket packs. Global is pretty much just going to get these for every Dokkan Fest now, right? It's been a running theme for quite a while now. Um, then we have Trunks' Dokkan event. Uh, the Guru event is returning. Dragon Ball Story. Uh, this is the GT Baby Saga being updated into a Dragon Ball Story event. Uh, has a support memory. All of the stages get reset, so a few extra stones there. The Piccolo Super Strike revamp this is all coming out Wednesday morning. The Guru event returning is the week later, so advanced uh, link level ability. Uh, we're going to get the guaranteed launch appears in every one of the daily turtle training things. That starts on the 10th as well. Bunch of other story events and easy A's and things like that returning. Then we have Battlefield Reset on Friday the 5th. Then we've got an easy A. Oh, this is going to be the easy A for, yeah, Physical Transforming Vegeta easy A finally coming to Global. That is Wednesday the 10th, so that is next week. Uh, EX skill orbs from a limited event for the Android slash Cell Saga. So these will obviously be useful if you do pull the trunks, um, as well as a bunch of the other characters as well. That's pretty good. Um, we get the new stage of the support memory revamp. I don't think it, it doesn't say which one that's for. Uh, Supreme weekend summons are coming back. So this is going back to the other format, the secondary one they release. So if you have the older version of the weekend summon tickets, then those won't actually work for this, right? So then we have the explosive chain battle versus Super Vegeta's on the 15th. Um, and then of course, you know, every month with the reset, we get the link skill all packs. There'll also be the key packs as well. So not a huge amount of crazy stuff that we did not expect. Everything else in here is stuff that we had already seen. Obviously there's the thing about the GT story being updated with the pan support memory, uh, the super um, trunks Dokon Fest teaser. And then this is the thing that I thought was interesting because I assumed these would be packs of tickets for the step up banner, but it says here the uh, happy new year 2024 pack uh, you get 50 dragon stones, then you get small and medium, oh it's all three sizes, yeah, small, medium and large link skill orbs, some training items and five box space. So they're advertising it as like, you know, use the stones to summon on the step up banner, but if we actually jump into the shop and take a look here, um, we can see what these are in terms of value. There's all the sales obviously, a couple of the 90, uh, 91 pack, well actually it's even more than 91 isn't it, that's not too bad actually. As a, though these packs are actually a really good price, these twenty four ninety nine ones, because that's what one hundred and twenty stones. So that's pretty good. Um, and then if we go into the special tab here, let's take a look for the uh, these New Year's packs. Um, so yeah, fifty stones, uh, six ninety nine, right? So that'll be what eight dollars or nine dollars potentially. I mean, for fifty stones, that is pretty good. Uh, just for the stones alone, right, that's obviously good value based on how much stones normally cost. Because, I mean, you can see here, even a 32 stone pack when there's no sales costs like $10 more than that. So, that is pretty good. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, are you going to be summoning on the Step Up banners? Very interesting that they have split them between Super and Extreme. Because when you think about how badly done Extreme Class has been throughout the year, I feel like it's very unlikely that anyone is summoning on this banner, right? Because... I mean, obviously some of the units on here are still good, but this banner, depending on whether you're missing some of these characters, and bear in mind, of course, you're not necessarily going to get them as your guaranteed summon, but this banner having Bulma for step 4, and then like Godku and 23rd World Tournament Goku for step 5, I feel like this is uh, one of the big ones. And just remember as well, those are the guaranteed units you get on each step, but you could technically get any of those, like when you summon on an LR banner, and you can just pull an LR in any of the 10 slots. You could do step one on this banner for 20 stones and pull Godku as like, you know, the sixth unit on the banner. It's the 10th unit is guaranteed to be one of those guys from the actual step one. But any of those other points, like the 20 stone multi, you could get Bulma as the first unit of the multi. So definitely interesting. But as always with these step up banners, once your account starts to get a little bit more weight to it, you know, like for me, for example, none of the characters I actually need but including the step 5 ones but if you're in a position where you know you just need Bulma and then maybe you just need Godku it's a lot of uh, you gotta get through those first few steps where you're not really getting anything of value and then just because Bulma is on step 4 doesn't mean you're actually gonna get her and if we go to the coin shop I know some people were asking in the comments of uh, one of the other videos 
Um, I think I did talk about it a little bit in the video I did about the summon banner and which characters would be on there. But if we go into here and go to our coins, um, as you can see, they do not add the characters from the step up banner into the coin shop. Because otherwise, like, basically every single Dokkan Fest would be in here, right? And then, uh, yeah, they do not add those into the shop. So you can't get Bulma or Godku or anything like that unless you decide to summon. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you going to be summoning on the Step Up banner? Have you summoned already? Um, I'm assuming the exclamation mark on my profile here for the top corner is just to show that it is all reset. So the grind to get to level 12 uh, will start all over again. And uh, oh, I've already got to level 2. Okay. Well, there you go. So, New Year's for Global. we got some interesting things going on. I know not a lot in terms of crazy hype, but I mean, the Step Up banner definitely going to be useful for some people. Trunks, you know, I'll be summoning for him, hopefully pulling a copy nice and early, and we'll see what we can do. Um, he's not, like, the worst unit ever or anything, but he definitely gets a lot of hate, so it'll be interesting to try him out in some events and see how well he gets on. Uh, so let me know all your guys' thoughts. Like I said, I hope you had a great time for New Year's. Um, I hope those of you who did take part in the World Tournament uh, got on well with uh, wherever it was you were trying to place. Shout out to everyone that came out to the Subathon that we did for the World Tournament. We ended up going 21 and a half hours when the timer ran out. Didn't quite manage the full 24. Uh, there were people there willing to uh, potentially top the timer up a little bit. But when it got to 21 and a half hours... Uh, your boy was uh, flagging pretty hard. So we'll make that a goal for the next World Tournament that will actually make the full 24 hours. So shout out to everybody that came out for that. Hope you guys have been enjoying the first day of 2024. We'll be back to business as usual basically from tomorrow. And uh, yeah, on with the new year of Dokkan. Hopefully we uh, get more W's than L's. Check out those videos if you haven't already. I made a video rating all of the Dokkan Fest exclusive and LR releases throughout 2023 and putting them uh, whether they were W or L. And it was mostly two thirds Ws for both formats. So hopefully we can continue and potentially even improve on that in 2024. So let me know all your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. So that is gonna be it for the video guys. This has been The Mastering Again. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.